Today I'll be showing um, how to make uh, this kind of a design uh, using uh, matrix. A simple one and the trip with the simple commands you can use it. I'll show you how it is made. Okay, let's get started. Uh, new. Okay. So let me go to the curve, curve command, the round, and type on the command line zero. So we are uh, going to draw, let's say, 10 millimeter, 20 millimeter, 20 millimeter width. So that's. Um, Okay, and then uh, I'm going to draw another circle. That's going to be here. Let me switch off this. If, if I don't switch off, it will be snapping to, you know, all these grids, you see. See, it's snapping. So, it's, it will uh, keep snapping. So, let's say, you know, we want this to be like mm, 10 millimeter, okay. So what we are going to do is, now we made this circle, this is going to be the profile uh, and this is going to be the, the curve. So we are going to array polar, array polar command, center is 0, okay. The number of items to do, here you can see the command line. It is, we will make like six pieces, okay, let's see. Three sixty degree, so it is going to be like that. Actually, it's not enough, so we will make uh, array, array polar center is zero. We will make uh, ten. Okay, so that is hit again. See now you get this. You know, it's like a overlapping circles so in this what i'm going to do is i'm going to trim all this and then having this as a center so what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, draw a circle Now, having this as a center, I'm going to trim off all these areas. So we get this curve um, going. Okay, and then uh, to do that, so I'm going to do one thing, one more simple thing. Make a curve here, round. So go here till this snap. Snap it here. Make sure all this is on, and this one, and this one, so that you will get snapped automatically. So the circle will be formed exactly onto this until you on the snaps. It won't get uh, to that point. Okay. So now I'm going to trim. Trim. I am using trim command. Selecting this as a cutting object and then I'm trimming all this. Whatever it is touching, 
that it will be trimmed. So it is trimmed. Let's exit, delete this. So now we have that flower uh, uh, pattern. So we have to join all this, select all of them, click one by one, relax, one by one and join them. Okay, now it is, if you click on this, it is one, one profile. So now we have to make a profile. So in order to do that, we need one line. So let's go here, click on the curve line and then click zero. So we'll draw a line, use the through finger area, draw a line like that. And then we need a profile in order to make a sweep. So we will go here, just again, you know, make sure this snaps are on and then go and click any see any of the profile here. Then come here okay and then through finger area and just how how big you want the doom to be you know you need to just either that way or that you know let, let either you know it's like very high very low very curvy or very like an umbrella looking so that you need to adjust what you want how do you want it so uh, i'm just placing it here and then so what I'm going to do is right now, I'm going to use the uh, the rail revolve command. R-A-I-L, rail revolve, in the command section and click enter. Then we need to select the profile. So this is the profile. And then, select the profile. Fill the rail and then you need to see rail revolve. I'm selecting the profile now. Automatically it lasts for the next curve. This is going to be the curve and the height is going to be from here till here. See you got that now. We got it now. Okay right now it is only a shell there is no uh, uh, you know it's not a solid object so in order to make a solid object what we can do we can either offset it that is very difficult what i'm going to do is right now cap it just select it cap so we already capped it okay so now it is one single uh, object so what i'm going to do is now just copy this, copy the poly surface, control V, control C and control V. Now you assign that to the red spot. Okay, now we have two inside one. We have one in green color, one in uh, red color. Select the red color one, okay. Go to transformation, 3D. So origin point is zero. So we go here. We just go outside and then make it little less. Like you know how many mm you want. You know like uh, one mm. That is going to be one mm. Is like you are you want two mm. So that is going to be two mm. So let's make it to one one point five mm. Okay. So that is a one point five mm. So we have two pieces. One is bigger one and one is smaller one. So now we are, what we are going to do is use a boolean. Use a boolean. So the object is going to be that. 
the cutter is going to be the red one. So let's do the boolean. So we have this hollow space. Now we have this hollow space. Okay. So this is the one way of doing things. And this can be used in any uh, ring or pendant or cap. Uh, for any purpose of uh, ring or uh, pendants or brooch, any anything in that you know that you want this kind of a pattern to be there. Okay, so on my next video, I'll be showing more uh, tips and tricks about uh, doing the same kind of work. Uh, please subscribe and hit the bell icon and help us uh, grow our network. And uh, thank you so much for your uh, assistance. And if you have anything, any question that you require any special videos or my instruction is not very clear, you can put it on the comment box and then I'll be more than happy to reply to you. And then uh, if you have any special request, you can put it on the command and then I can create the video and I can send you the link also. It's all for free. Uh, please help us grow by subscribing our channel. Okay, thank you. Bye.